you know, there's this extraordinary uh, conversation that, that, that I remember on a journey to, to Highgrove one weekend when Harry would have been about six, I suppose, or seven. Harry, William, a little bit older. And, and an argument being refereed by the nanny in the back seat, Diana driving. And suddenly, when there was a piece of quiet, you know, Harry leant across and said to William, it's all right for you, you know, you'll be king one day and I won't, therefore I can do what I want. Now, that was 30-odd years ago. And that is exactly now what he is doing. And, and, and in a way, given the circumstances that, uh, and the fallout of his relationship with the royal family at the time of his wedding in 2017, you know, there's, you know, there's a re revenge issue here, really. You know, he's actually, in his words, trying to put you know, the record straight. I mean, one thing that, that, that Harry's lacked is somebody to give him advice. There, there's, there's no convener here. He's very much on his own out there. Uh, and, and Diana would have understood completely the reasons why he left for America. May well have even have encouraged it. But insofar as the book and the interview is concerned, she herself would have realized that it was a mistake. It, it was a mistake. Yes, we know historically, you know, we, 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 we cemented all that we, we knew had happened. But I, I think she would have been wise enough from her own experience to say to Harry, her son, look, I love you, but this isn't a good idea.